and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm Samantha, also known as Purple Sewing Cloud. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that for the past few weeks I've been teasing about what was in a giant box I had. Um, spoiler alert, it's a Benina 480. Um, and I have a couple of disclaimers. First disclaimer, this box, this machine has been provided to me by Benina as a loan um, to help them write some blog posts um, for their blog. The, um, I've been working with Benina to make accessibility information available um, and they invited me to write for them. So the blog posts I'm going to be writing will be, a, there will be some about sewing with disabilities and chronic illnesses but there will also be some that are just about sewing, um, which I'm really excited to do. Um, and I'm really excited to get using this machine. Um, second disclaimer, this machine, this box, this is the official unboxing, but the box has been opened. So when we picked up this package, um, we picked it up on a Saturday morning and then we went and stayed with Richard's mum for the weekend because she's been really ill and we're a support bubble together. Um, and <laughs> I couldn't open the box there, but Rich did go into the box for me and fished out the user manual, which is beautiful with coloured photos, lo really um, great instructions as well, easy to read. Um, he fished this out for me and I've been reading it over the weekend, but I haven't actually been in the box. So this is this the official unboxing but not the first un first opening of the box so without um any more chatting let's open the box right Ooh. so this the way panina said this to me I had to be picked up from a dealer um, and my local panina dealer tully's um, has been superb throughout this and I need to mention him he's in he's based in Sunderland absolutely fantastic if you're looking for a new machine definitely get in contact with him that's not sponsored or anything like that but he's a wonderful gentleman and he's been great throughout the process right mm. Ooh, so the first, this has got several layers first layer is Let's just throw everything on the floor over there. First layer is the... I don't know what this is called. Let's find the real term for it. So I don't get into trouble by banana. Okay, this is called... Uh, side on, slide on table. <laughs> and this just fits on over the, um, that way, it fits on, just to give you a, a larger working space. Um, so that's that. Second bit, let's pull off the bubble wrap. This is a, I know what this is, a free, it's called the free hand system and this is the knee lift which is part of that. And that just clicks into your machine and you operate it with your knee to move your foot pedal up and down. Right, okay. Have a styrene. We're into the second layer. Right. Very important plug. Put that there. Oh. And a couple of bag of goodies. Right, this is sewing machine feet. One of these is a blind hem foot, a zipper foot and an overlock stitch foot. Very important feet. And in here we have um, bobbins, very important as well because this machine has different bobbins to my previous machine. Um, so these are giant bobbins and these hold 70% more than the old bobbins that I used to use. Let me bring that up close. Ooh. Let, let's do get the um, the hand out. <laughs> so these are bigger um, and they hold 70% more, which hopefully should mean 
Less bobbin chicken. <laughs> Less games of bobbin chicken. Um, Seventy percent less, I would imagine. They come in a nice little holder. What else is in my little bag? Um, oil, very important. A foam stopper. Seam ripper, also very important. Cleaning brush. Um, and thread stoppers. So you put these over the thread to stop them coming off. It was all the little gadgets, oil and everything. Right. And a tiny little screwdriver. And another thing. Oh, I wonder if that's for the thread as well. I'll um, keep hold it back. Yeah, that's a thread disc as well. Also, there's this. Now, if you have a receiver, Benina, you might wonder what it is. After reading the instructions, I have found out what it is. It's on this, it's called a height compensation tool and it's three little bits of plastic um, that are joined together with a rivet. Um, and what this is for, let me bring it up closer. What this is for is for when you're sewing, a bulky, sewing over a bulky seam or um, little corners that might get trapped. You use this under your foot like a um, what's the prop the like one let me have I have one here like a sewing majig if you've got one of these this is a jeans majig um, but this is the Benina one and you can use them two one on its own two together or three together depending on the bulk of the seam or the thing that you're sewing and it stops it from getting trapped there you go that's what that's for if you ever receive a Benina and you don't know what it is okay needles and some metal thread very exciting that's a, the 100 percent polyester ones so there's the those right okay this is something i'm super excited about this is the accessory case and it actually magnetically fits onto the back of your machine when you're not using it and you can store, oh, open it up, you can store all your feet and other little tools in it, which is very exciting. I never have a, I've never had a good place to keep all my feet and tools, so this is going to be excellent. Now what I'm going to do is load all this up into here and show you one minute. Okay, we're all loaded up. Look how pretty. So, um, all your feet can go in here. There's a little slot for your needles. I don't know if this is exactly where everything's going to go when it's all organised. You can move these little shelves as well. Um, but it's a good start and I am super happy with this. Okay. Let's, oh, also there's a little drawer and I've put all my the extras, the oil and little bits in there. Okay, let's get this. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Right. Let's pop that to one side with the um, table and the foot. Right. <gasps> this is the exciting layer I think. Right. A big bit out there. <gasps> We've got Oh, a banana cover. This is a soft cover that you can use use to store your machine in. I'm very excited about. Right, I'm just going to put that back there though for the time being because I need a big space now. Ooh. Oh, nearly didn't spot that. That is the buttonhole foot. Very important. Take that with this little baggie. Um, the 3A buttonhole for. okay and that has a little space as well in the in its in the little accessory case as well it's so cute right okay here she is oh I'm very excited right we'll get right the machine here we go Ooh. take this out Ooh. and there's the pedal so, as well, this is a slightly new pedal and I'm super excited to use it. 
um, I think it's going to really change my sewing and how I sew. It is a normal pedal sew, like an um, accelerator in a car, so you press it down to go forwards. But it also has the heel click, so it tips that way, and that will, so when you click, press down with your heel, um, it, you can program it to do a different, um, lots of different things like move your needle up and down or um, put back stitches in, which I think that's going to be extremely um, fun for me to use. Right, this is the exciting bit. Let's get this all off. Let's take the blue tape off. Uh, okay. And the protective foamy layer. <gasps> Look at her. Right. All of that. Oh, there's an important sign here. Right, let's have a look what this says. Um, oh. There's an important sign. Oh. Remove this. So, ah, so it must be a little plastic um, holder for when while it was in transit. Let's put that in the box so I've got it safe. We'll put that in the box as well. I am keeping the box and all the styrofoam just in case. Well, I know I'll be moving this year first of all, and secondly, if I ever need to send it for repair or anything like that, I've got all the boxes and everything ready. Right. Have a look. Oh, there's so much plastic to peel off as well. Oh, I'm so excited to do that. Right. Oh, on the back here, there's a little certificate of quality and it's signed as well by the tester, which is, I love that. It's a very cute feature. So can I get that off? Yeah, I'm going to take that off. Put it in the box as well, though. So I've got that to keep. Right, let's get this foot up actually I might leave that little bit in until I switch it on let's start peeling off some of the plastic though right are we ready oh that's satisfying there's another one here oh oh that's oh oh that's beautiful right and now I want you to know I'm quite the animal and um I don't like screen protectors. Um, <laughs> and this is a conversation I've had with Rachel, um, the minimal machinist, for quite a while. Um, she keeps her screen protector on here and I'm always like, get it off, get it off. Um, so I'm going to get it off. Um, let's, I, I, are you ready for this? I feel like I need some kind of sexy music. I'm probably... I don't want to pay for, um, what's the word? Copyright though, so I'm just going to sing it myself. Are you ready? But you can leave your hat on. Ooh. Oh, look at that beauty under there. She's so shiny and cute. There is some extra bits around here as well. Uh, I think that's, um, you know, the things that you get to keep mo for moisture collection. It says do not eat on it. I won't eat it, don't worry, Benina. Um, and there's a little bit of styrofoam under here as well. Out, put it in the box as well. Right now we can get this attached. I did read the manual as I said, so I know how this goes in. Okay, now you can see that's operating the um, presser foot now. I don't know if you could see that. Let me move out the way. Ooh. And then this goes in as well, but I haven't moved the needle yet. I don't want to do that till I've switched it on. One second while I get the plug in and the foot pedal sorted and we'll switch this baby on. Okay, she is all plugged in. Presser foot is up on. 
in, knee lift, everything is ready to go. Um, also, um, quick point to note, uh, it says there's five bobbins in the instructions, so you get four in a little pot, and there is a fifth one in here as well. So if you receive a bin and you're like, oh, I'm missing a bobbin, it's in there, ready to go. Um, uh, this is exciting! So she's plugged in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah. Uh, she plugged in. Oh, there she is. She switched on lights. She's lighting up. Oh, this is exciting! So, starting application. So it wants, so English, you can change this as well at a later point if you want to, English, and then I think OK, so put the presser for all, and I'm going to just, oh, there. Put the needle for up as well to get this out. As I said, there's some there's a bobbin with some thread in, so there's its little sample that it comes with. Put that in the bin, but I'm all ready to go. Um, so there she is, she's beautiful. Also, Benina sent me a few little extra bits. Here we go. So I've got some different feet. I have got the Tensi, which is an edge stitch foot. This is something on my previous machine that I used a lot. It's really great for getting those top stitches in nice and neat. And this is a patchwork foot, so the quarter um, inch patchwork foot. This is the 57. Also, um, it's this is really great because it's got the guide on. Excited to use that one. Um, this is the jeans foot. This is, looks really great. It's the number eight. It's specifically for sewing denim and thicker fabrics. So that's another one. I use denim a lot, so we're going to get lots of use of that. Invisible zipper foot. And the Danning and Free Motion embroidery foot. Um, I had this on my last machine and I never got really around to using it. So, and now I'm really into quilting, I'm excited to try this out a little bit. Okay, and the last foot is the three sole walking foot um, with seam guides. So, let me open this. These will all fit into my little case as well, which I'm very excited about. Um, so this is the walking foot. And this is great for quilting, so in Jersey, lots of different things like that. Again, it comes with a little screwdriver, seam guides, and a couple of soles as well. Um, so I'm excited to use that one as well. There we go. Pop that all back in there. I wonder, this will definitely fit in my case, won't it, as well? Anyway, there we go. That's my new machine um, and all the little things. I've got some calico ready. I'm gonna get this all threaded up lovely and um, I'm excited to try it out. Anyway, um, what I wanted to say again is um, I'm super thankful for Benina for sending me this and inviting me to create some content for the blog. As I said it won't all be about sewing with disabilities and chronic illness but it will, it will be featured in there and that's super important to me that people with disabilities and chronic illnesses have a space in the sewing world because um, there's a lot of us out there and the more we communicate and the more we get together the easier sewing will be for us because we'll learn tips and tricks from each other um, and yeah I'm excited. Um, this has been a long time coming for, for um, me um, and it feels like a huge step in the right direction. I will continue, as I've said before, and on my Instagram and everywhere else, 
I will continue to work with other companies to ensure they get their accessibility information out there. Um, but yes, um, me and Benina are now BFFs and I'm excited for this next step in the journey. So thank you for watching my unboxing. Uh, um, we'll speak soon. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Mwah.